And uh, it's August 23rd, 2020. Would you believe it? Well, it's true. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Very different. Very different indeed. Guess what it is? We are going to look at TikTok videos. TikTok videos. No, we're not going to be watching college kids and high schoolers play pranks on each other and do perverted dances. We are going to look at the Hebrew Israelites on TikTok. And guess what? They exist because Hebrew Israelites are everywhere. And so that means we need apologetics on TikTok. And so today I've got a TikTok apologist. Would you believe it? I'm very excited today. You're going to meet him in just a second. Just give me a second here. But first, I need to get the show started. So three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. And remember, you know what? I won't play that video yet, but pretty soon, that's a video I'm going to play. All right. What's up, brother Josh? Tell everyone how to say your last name and then tell them what TikTok is. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, I can hear Wait you, brother. I'm sorry. What, you can't hear me? Oh, you got too much going on over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so All sorry. Right. How do we say your last name, um, bro? Everybody wants to know. Yeah. Joshua Janier. Joshua Janier. It's French. Um, it's hard to pro- it's hard to pronounce, but um, I'm Josh. I'm a TikTok apologist. I make um, um, 60 second videos on TikTok. TikTok is an, a platform that you can just you know be creative, do whatever you want. I started TikTok last year in December. I started out just posting like Bible verses, and then I, I saw that my theology was all out of whack. Had some you know, then I, that's that's when I was actually born again, and then I just started out. I, I saw all these heresies going on on TikTok, and I was like, okay. This can't, this can't, this can't, this can't happen. So I make, I make videos on, I, I started with Muslims, then I shifted over to Black Hebrew Israelites. Now I'm doing Mormons and um, I, I do presupposition apologetics on my TikTok as well. We're atheists, but um, yeah, that's me. Nice. We need apologists on TikTok. Now I see TikTokers with millions and millions of followers. That's uh, the big shots. I don't necessarily know what good numbers are for Christian apologists, but I do know you're one of the few people that's doing apologetics on TikTok that specializes in some of the urban apologetics. And also, I like the fact that you're reformed. And if you were a Hebrew Israelite, you'd be a tribe of Simeon. Really? <laughs> to, yeah. To those who don't know, that means he's Dominican. And so uh, yeah. that, that, that's something else we like because we've, we've got a love of baseball in common. So shout out, shout out to DR and shout out to uh, all the baseball DR players dominating the majors and everyone else in the world right now. All right. And you played baseball too, right? Yes, I do. Second base and shortstop. Seasons canceled. Yep. Unfortunately. You, s- you sad? Yeah, bro. It's, 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 you know, it's whatever, man. Yankees Can't guy or Mets guy? Uh, I was born in Flushing, so uh, but I'm a Yankees fan. I'm a Yankees. Fan. You're a Yankees fan? Don't you live in Queens? I do live in Queens, but I'm a Yankees fan, man. Come on, man! You should be rocking blue and orange, not blue and white. Oh uh, man, I don't know. Look, no for, Jeter, man. Let me just tell you, for outsiders, this is this is what I. It's it, it's hard to handle the Yankees. We can handle the Mets, though. They used to be underdogs when they came out. They've they've been underdogs. We can handle some Mets. But the Yankees, it's hard, man. And if you're in Queens, I don't see what your excuse is, but I'll let the Lord uh and you know, I'll, I'll let that be dealt with on on, on your time. <laughs> well, do you do you like the Mets? Yes, I do like the Mets. Right. I do like the Mets. As long as you don't dis do. dislike them, I guess, then it's all right. Veckel, well, Veckel, where are you from? Veckel's in the live chat. Aren't you from Brooklyn? He's saying Yankees. I mean, where are you from, Veckel? If you're from Brooklyn, I don't know if you should like the Yankees either, to be honest, because back in the day, bro, in the 50s. Anyways, we're getting off a little bit. All right, check it out. TikTok, what's been, what's going on in sort of the apologetic worldview kind of culture? What's going on on that side of TikTok? And uh, why is it important for us to be there? Break down the context a little bit. And we will get in these videos, I promise. We won't talk about baseball no more, everybody. But uh, kind of okay. explain the context of TikTok, if you could. 
Okay, so TikTok, there's um, there's there's Christian content creators. There's great Christian content creators like Theology Spoon, Dooku Kevin. You know, some of my great friends, and we're just we're just here defending the faith. You know, it's 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 very it's very good what's what's going on. There's a lot of a lot of sound people on TikTok, but there's also a lot of people who who don't believe in sound doctrine and a lot of false teaching. But well, my goal and and the, and the goal with some of my reform brothers is just to, you know reform theology, just to just to preach the true gospel, defend the faith. You know, and, and that's that. But there's, there's a lot of good things going on TikTok. The Christian content community, it, it's great. It's amazing. You know, you know, sound doctrine is continuing to flood TikTok. And then and that's that's the goal, man. Just we love sound doctrine over here. Oh, that's good, too, man. Uh, you have, uh, I think, over 4,000 followers on TikTok. Yes, I do. 4,000 followers. It's like Thank 40. God, it's it's approaching well. like 4,500, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if somebody wants to do apologetics on TikTok, uh, you got a little bit of advice. You don't have to do it in 15 seconds, but you got a little bit of advice. Uh, I mean, yes. I'm um, just, uh, you know, my, my thing is like, if I'm saying what the Bible says, I'll never be in error. You know, you know, you know, sola scriptura, you know, just say what the Bible says. Stay when, you know, just stay. Don't trust your feelings. Don't trust, just trust the word of God. You're friends with Jeff Durbin. And it's like, you know, just, you want to think with the biblical worldview because truth filters out error. And as, as Christians, uh, you know, we're supposed to defend the faith, you know, first Peter three fifteen. Always, always be ready to give an answer. So just say what the Bible says. Stick to the Bible. Don't stick to your feelings or, you know, all of this, you know, you know, all these, you know, the Pentecostal movement with the feelings. But just stick to the Bible. You won't be in error. All right. Now, uh, are you allowed to say uh, your age on here, bro? Or are you, you going to get fired or something like that? No, nah, that's fine. I'm 17 years old. I'll 17 be years old? Bro, I thought you were 29 with that mustache. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> nah. 17 years old. Turning 18 in February. Man, bro, are you, are you even allowed to be on TikTok? I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm being, I'm, I'm being dumb. Okay. Uh, now, uh, anybody want to give a shout out? I think you probably got some people watching. I don't know if you can see the live chat. If you don't, man, go to youtube.com slash vocab alone, Josh, to turn down that sound and you can look at the live chat. And if you see anything in the live chat, don't let it get you too distracted. You got to have a little discipline here. I know how to do it, but, um, yeah. If there's anyone you give a shout out before you forget, you know, like maybe you want to give a shout out to the, your favorite pitcher uh, or, uh, you know, uh, T.O., T whatever, bro. Who you want to give shout outs to, man? Um, the whole yeah, borough, the whole borough. What you want yeah. to do, man? So I got my, I got my bros in, in the in the live chat. Um, Hector, um, Kevin, um, um, the other Kevin. You know, I appreciate you guys. Um, Tim Catcher on, on TikTok. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys following me. I love what you guys do on TikTok. Love your content. Keep going. All glory to God. Hector, yeah, what's what's up out. with what's up with Hector? Who's that? Hector Pagang, um, um, theology spoon on TikTok. I think you follow. Oh, him. I've he seen his stuff. stuff. Theology yeah, spoon. Great. Yes, he puts out great stuff. That's my boy Hector. Love him, man. But yeah, I love what he does. Love love you guys. Keep doing you. Hey, what's up, bro? You think we should give Hector a little air horn? Yes, sir. All right, all right this is for you, Hector. <laughs> all right, air horn just for Hector. <laughs> Okay, uh, now here we go, man. We're, we're looking at this, um, and we've got a number of videos we're going to review and do little reactions to. And uh, we've already looked at both of them. I think we're going to have a trick here. where you, I don't think you're going to be able to hear the sound. I think you're only going to be able to see the video, but you've watched these, and I'll, I'll kind of rewind, you know, I'll say out loud what is being said again, uh, because I, I don't think we've, we were messing around and I couldn't get it figured out. Where do you, uh, you're not going to be able to hear the sound. But we've looked at these. We did not pick out, um, I basically picked out the first 10 I find that I found that I could do, do, do reactions to. There's like so many out there, you know. And we're just going to look at a couple of users, a couple of channels, and a couple of videos. So are you guys ready? <laughs> this is, this is a new thing, bro. We never, uh, never looked at TikTok videos on Street Apologist Live. So, so I'm I'm a little I'm I'm a little scared almost. Sorry, I think the first one was the Levite Sound account, if I'm not mistaken. As white as snow. Right, this is right. an image of what was. I think he posted this June 28th, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so here we are. Uh, you and I are both on the screen right now. I'm gonna try to make make a, us a little bit bigger. So, I tell you what. Do you mind if we go over White Jesus a little bit? And how about let's go yeah. over. Let's let's also cover over the the um, let's cover this, his sacred heart there, and let's cover over the IUIC logo. Okay, 
So you and I are on the screen. We're covered over those things. Now, it, this this account, um, and again, the name of this account, everybody that we're on. So we're on a TikTok account. Understand the name of this account that we're on right now is Levite Sound Twenty One. So if he's claiming to be a Levite, everybody, that means the dude that runs this account most likely is Haitian, of Haitian descent. And that would mean he holds to the 12 Tribes chart. Maybe he's playing IUIC videos, it means he's down with the 12 Tribes chart if he's down with IUIC. Now, what he's doing here, he's taking a clip of a video, this TikTok user, that had, look, if you look, it had 739 people watching it live at the time when this was taken. Uh, I think that's the Periscope symbol, if I'm not mistaken. So it looks like he might have taken this for Periscope. I could be mistaken. And uh, it looks like he was watching it live. And then he's going to play a clip. And so you've got the Sacred Heart White Jesus with rosy cheeks. And uh, Josh and I were talking before the show, don't Hebrew Israelites love White Jesus? Yeah, they do. They, they do. They wouldn't they know them. who, they wouldn't know what, they wouldn't have as half the videos they have where there wasn't a White Jesus, right? Exactly. Exactly. They wouldn't know what to talk about half the time if it wasn't for White Jesus. Exactly, man. It's, it's sad, man. It's what sad. what posters would they carry around if they didn't have White Jesus? Who would they stomp? Who who would they stomp on? Who whose whose image would they burn if there was no White Jesus? You know, probably an image of Esau. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all the same to them, right? I'm telling you, man. They exactly. love putting up pictures of the whitest Jesus you ever saw. Now, what's going on here on the other side of the screen? Purple Jesus? Yeah, man. That <laughs> that doesn't look good. It's just a like a misinterpretation of Revelation one fourteen. Yeah, which we're gonna play it in a second here. But let me ask you something, Josh. Does that man look look like look like he's thirty three years old? No, sir. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Here's an no, accurate sir. portrayal of Jesus at thirty three years old. He's still rocking the the crown of thorns with his IUIC robe on. <laughs> Um, I mean, Lord knows white Jesus over there is not accurate, but this purple Jesus. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a stretch. That's a stretch. All right, so here, let's play this, and let's see. This is It looks like this is a 52-second clip here, and uh, Nathaniel, that's the leader of IUIC, he's going to talk about this, and his TikTok users put up. While, while we're watching this, I'm actually going to pull up the TikTok uh, guy's account and tell you how many subs he's got and stuff like that, but here we go as white as snow. This is an image of what we're seeing. And remember, this was on the island of Patmos. Listen to what I'm about to say. I brought it out before. I keep forgetting. This was 60 years later from when Christ ascended. 60 years later. That's why it says one like the son of man, meaning he looks like the man I used to walk with 60 years ago. Go ahead. Now, he just said, remember, this is 66 year, 60 years later. And he yeah. said, so he looks like he, he um, looks just like the man I used to walk with 60 years ago. Um, again, we're not caping for white Jesus over here. But did you yeah. get anything from the context of Revelation 114 that says this looks identical to the man I walked with 60 years ago? No, sir. That's not in the passage. Where is he getting that from? And if you look at the description of Jesus, it's hard to imagine Jesus on a, on, a, on a Passover sitting at a table with a sword coming out of his mouth. Exactly. But here, let's play the rest of this. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank uh, wine in moderation. The eyes shall be red with wine. Genesis 4. Hey, uh, Josh, he drank wine. That's why his eyes were red. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What would you think when you heard that, bro? I was just like, oh, that has nothing to do with it. Like, literally nothing to do with it. Now, let me ask you something, Josh. Um, you've seen someone drunk before, right? Yes, I have. <laughs> now, they, there's, you got to drink a good amount for your eyes to turn red, right? Exactly. And, and I mean, in, in most cases, right? Um, yeah. You've seen people drink in moderation, right? They have a little sip. They're cool, right? You've seen that? Yeah. In your 17 years of walking this earth, Josh, have you ever seen someone drink wine in moderation and their eyes turn red? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I'd be surprised to see that. <laughs> exactly. What is Nathaniel talking about here? His eyes were red because he drank wine in moderation. <laughs> what? No one gets red eyes. Yo, 
When someone says, I got red... Now, this is in relationship to, like, weed and stuff. But if they say, I got red eyes... Like, there's an old uh, guru. This is uh, Before Your Time, but Jasmine Taz out in the, And the whole hook of the song goes, I got, I red, got red eyes. eyes. I got red eyes. That's the whole thing, right? And it's saying, like, you know, I smoke so much weed, my eyes are red. Hey, you drink a yeah. little, drink too much wine, your eyes are... Not in moderation, but nonetheless, Jesus has red eyes because he... <laughs> why is Jesus drinking right before he's about to... What is he about to do here? Is, he, is this how he's going to come back? Is he going to be drinking when he comes back? He's... I mean... <laughs> I, I mean, their doctrines all over the place. So I wouldn't be surprised if they believe that. Yeah, well, you know, the, drunk Jesus. the purple Jesus, who's 30 years old, has the reverse Benjamin Button disease. He doesn't <laughs> he doesn't get younger. He gets older despite his age. He got the Benjamin Button reverse purple Jesus red eyes because he drinks wine in moderation. Okay, play this. 9, 12, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Brass is brown. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. Go ahead. And his voice as the sound of many now, waters. I don't know about you, but the one on the right looks more like burned brass than that one on the left. He said, I don't know about you, but the one on the right looks more like burned brass than the one on the right. Now, Josh, does that purple Jesus look like burned brass to you? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. And I want to show you something here. In Revelation 1, it says his feet... We're like burnished bronze refined in a furnace. Um, in the KJV, it says, like they burned. What 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 translation do you have in front of you, Josh? ESV. ESV. Now, if you look at the KJV, it'll say as if they burned, but it doesn't say as if they were burnt. Mm -hmm. So burning metal is like what, ladies and gentlemen? It's like golden glowing. And if you look exactly. at Revelation 1, that's a whole passage. Now, what do you want to say about this passage? I've been asking you questions and stuff, but I'll let you kind of have the floor. We listen to this. So this is an example. And by the way, everybody, this has, let me tell you how many, this this has um, 1,994 uh, hearts, so and uh, over 700 comments and over almost 200 shares. And it says, YT people hate when truth comes out. Which YT people doesn't mean YouTube people. It means white people. White people hate when truth comes out. And then listen to how this is tagged. Look at the hashtags. Hashtag Israelites. TikTok IUIC. Oh, that's really going to trend. Black Christian. TikTok Christian. Christian TikTok. Hebrew Israelite Bible Jesus Christ. All right. So what you want to say, Josh, about uh, purple Jesus um, versus white Jesus up in here? Yeah, it's like um, there's a lot of, if, if we know the book of Revelation, there's a lot of Old Testament passages in the book of Revelation. The white hair is just a signal, is like a sign of divine wisdom. There's passages like Daniel 7, 9, Daniel's um, vision of the, the Ancient of Days. And just the burnt breath, like you said, it's just a, a golden, a like, you know, glowing. So it's like they, they just, you know, that's what happens when you take the book of Revelation literally, like most premillennials do. I don't know if, I don't know about their eschatology, but... I'm post millennial, so you know there's a lot of symbols in that in the Book of Revelation, a lot of Old Testament as well. Now, um, have you seen a lot of IUIC clip, clips running around on a TikTok, like this kind of yes, thing? I have. Yeah, yes, I what have. do you see out there? Because I feel like I see a grip of IUIC teaching class excerpts all over TikTok. Mm -hmm. So you see that too? Yes, I do. It's just a lot about, you know, you know how they say, like, keep the law. Like, yesterday I got a comment. They're like, you know, I think it was, it was, one, of, it was one, of, one of that camp. It was like, where's your beard? I'm like, what, what are you guys talking about? Like, you ain't telling me you had a mustache, though? Yeah, I mean, look at the mustache, bro. Like, <laughs> but, yeah, I see a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of this. You know, it's, I live in New York, so I remember when I was younger just seeing these, these guys with purple robes. And I was like, what, what is this thing, you know? And then I grew up to find out the black Hebrews are like, it's a couple of Hebrew Israelites in the live chat who got upset that we said uh, black Hebrew Israelites. But you know what's funny about that? Out of all the camps, Nate, Nathaniel, he actually still uses the term black Hebrew Israelites. Not all the camps do. That's true. Nate still uses it, though. He'll say black Hebrew Israelites. So, hey, if Nate can say it, why can't we? But Exactly. I, you know, I don't. This is not really vintage TikTok for me. Meaning, a guy just putting a clip of something. Now, people do that sometimes, but there's no commentary. There's no nothing on the screen. But I mean, I don't know what 
I mean, it seems like it has decent numbers. I mean, 2,000 hearts, 700 comments, 200 shares. Mm, I don't know. It seems decent. Some of these are going to have a lot lower. All right. Let's see what's the next one. I'm going to get that loaded up. So, uh, all right. <laughs> Here's the, uh, the art one. Remember the one with all the paintings? Yeah, I do. This one is a, a real train wreck. This is from Awaken Israel. So we're going to our next Hebrew Israelite account. And uh, <laughs> let me see. This this one's a, this one, man. This one's one you you wanted you told me to handle, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How I, come I, you didn't want to tackle this one, bro? What's up? I mean that that guy. He's he's been in my comments a lot. Like that that Christian. Um, I mean that black Hebrew Israelite. He's he's been in my comments a lot. But I'm like I just I just don't even know what to say. Like I'm like what what is this, bro? Oh yeah, it's Hebrew. It's Hebrew. Uh, Hebrews Unite One Four Four. That account. You're saying you seen yeah, him? He, you seen him around? Yeah. He's, yep. He's been in my comments a lot when I when I made my videos against the black Hebrew Israelite. Um, but yeah, it's just has he witness. has he uh, been in your DMs? No, nah, I, I mean, a lot of black Hebrews like have, you know, uh, you know, I was supposed to debate one, but, you know, guy never showed up. He flopped. Hebrews like to my DMs. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're going to take a look at this. Uh, this one really is a mess. Um, let me let me show you the video here, everybody. Um, it's funny that some of these I sent you, you know, like you're like, oh, yeah, I've seen this guy. I've seen that guy. You know, some of them like you kind of already knew. Uh, let me see here. I sent you this one, and I'm trying to see. Okay, this is boom, 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 boom. Yeah, okay, Hebrew Israelites Unite 144. Uh, it says Awaken Israel on the top as well. And uh, this is this is titled this. It's titled Israelites Ruled Europe. FYP for your page, BLM, Black Lives Matter, Black Men, Dark Ages, Jesus, Yah, Hebrew Israelites, Black History, uh, Jewish religion, yeah. It's funny that they hashtag it for your page. Now, can you explain people real quick what the FYP hashtag is and why that's such a big deal? Because because um, I think it's funny that this Hebrews like thinks that this is going to make it on anyone's FYP. But what is FYP? FYP means for your page. That's like the for you page, the one, what, what comes in when you when you slide to the left. Um, I think it's the most um, hashtag used. Um, but yeah, that's that's what it means. Because when you're following in an ideal world, it would go to your follows first, but it doesn't. It goes to this thing they're trying to pre-select for you because they're trying to get you to follow yeah. more people. And so they put things you they think you might like, and that's the first thing you see after you see the ad when you log in. So it's like yeah. that's how you get new followers if you end up on the For You page. Yeah, okay. that's basically it. So uh, now when we play this back, everyone, the music might get taken out because um, he's got music on here and it might get a copyright uh, thing. So let's find out. But let's watch this 59-second video clip, which is a flurry of images. And it is, again, titled Israelites Ruled Europe. Now, let's just look at the first guy here before I even hit play. Um, I just got a couple questions to ask you guys. See the man on the screen? Um, where is he from? Where does he live? What year was this painting painted? Who painted this painting? What's this guy's name? What's his rank? What's the significance of the symbols he has on? Do you guys understand what I'm doing? I am asking relevant questions about the image to try to give some context to it. These Hebrew Israelites, when they do these little art slide shows, they literally completely decontextualize these images, tell you what it is. So this is Israelites ruling Europe, and then they just play them. You don't know anything about it, and guess what? Half the time, they don't either. And so I want you to keep in mind that, and by the way, I have another question to ask. Josh, do Hebrew Israelites think that we should trust images painted during the Middle Ages of white Jesus? Do they think we should trust those images as being how Jesus really looked? Oh, you're muted, bro. Do Hebrews like think we I should mean, trust images of white Jesus painted in the Middle Ages? Do they think we should trust those images? I don't think they do, but I don't think we should trust yours either. <laughs> That's my point! If they're going to tell us, don't look at this white Jesus image, it's wrong, okay. But why, when the same kind of group of people paint images 
of supposedly black Israelite royalty ruling them. Why do we trust those? Sounds like confirmation like bias. All right, let's watch yep. this little slideshow. Let's have some fun. I'm going to stop it on each one, and we'll comment. We'll check out each guy, okay? All right, cool. We'll go back and do it after I play it all the way through. All right, we're going to run that back. This video has 420-some four, hearts, 130 comments, 85 shares. And um, I looked through this guy's account, Hebrew Israelites Unite 144. He seems to specialize in um, this kind of stuff, like Israelites ruled Europe. Just so everyone understands, a lot of One West Hebrew Israelites have a theory that during the medieval times, the medieval era, that's the, the most proper uh, name for it, by the way, I'm going to tell you why here in a second, that it was ruled largely by a black aristocratic royalty class who were actually of Israelite extraction. That's what they teach. A few things here, a few things about this. Um, number one, <laughs> it was not called the Dark Ages because black folks ruled it. And you may think, what are you talking about, vocab? Nathaniel, for example, the guy we just played one of his videos, teaches the reason why the Dark Ages are called the Dark Ages is because it was ruled by black people. Kids you not. Now, the reason it was called the Dark Ages is because of uppity, white, European, rationalists, anti-Christian historians. Once um, the Reformation happened, you you have like the other side of things, and you have an enlightenment. Think about it. Enlightenment. The light of human reason is allowed to flourish and turn on, and now we're enlightened with human reason. That's like the idea of the enlightenment. What comes before the enlightenment? Oh, when the church was in control, the dark ages. It's actually a pejorative non-historical term because it's a judgmental term. That's why most historians don't use dark ages anymore. Middle Ages is generic because it goes ancient, modern, and just stuck there is the Middle Ages. Not pejorative, but very useless in its description. Medieval era is the most historically accurate. Now, just look at the one on the screen. Josh, I'm not going to say you're an expert in determining who is black and who's not, but let's just say for a second you were. Tell me, what right. you, tell me what you think about this man's nose. Is that yeah, how, how many black dudes have you seen walking around like this guy? Zero, zero, <laughs> zero. I, I mean, one. I, I don't know who sees this picture with, you know, it's clearly in the style of Greek iconog iconography and would say, hmm, look at that, look at that black Hebrew Israelite man. Now, first of all, he's got crosses all over himself. Which in a, in a in the little halo do, door deal, and the caption on the bottom says Saint Peter. Now it's not Peter from old school. Hold up, everyone, listen. Saint Peter, the Metropolitan of Moscow, and wonder worker of all Russia, died 1326. Now, Metropolitan, to those who don't know, is the position of prominence within the Greek Orthodox Church. Like if you're an important guy over a large city. They call you the Metropolitan. It's a, the title of the guy supposedly in the church there. My point is this guy is the Metrop Metropolitan of the Russian Orthodox Church in Moscow in 13, before 1326 when he died. Question, Josh, does a guy being – let's just say he was black, which clearly he's not. Let's just say St. Peter of Moscow was black. Does being in charge of the local church in the area make you ruler of Europe in some way? 
No, sir. You're not ruling anything. He's not the czar. He's exactly. This is not a ruler of Russia. What I'm saying is this little slideshow is ridiculous. Now we're going to go through and show each one. Now, here's why I do this. These Hebrews lights play these little PowerPoint slideshows. And they want to trick you, and, and you're just thinking in your mind, if you're ready to be deceived, oh, these are all black royalty. I believe it. The slide shows malarkey. Let's watch it again. All right, so there's another guy. Um, oop. Oop, oop, oop. Hold up. Hold on. Is this... Now, again, you got to ask yourself these questions I, I said about each one, right? We literally know nothing about this picture. It's 100% decontextualized. Now, I'm going to draw, draw some of them out in particular. You know, you just don't know what's going on. Clearly, this is a part of a larger painting. There's a white guy over here yeah. dancing. I don't know what they're doing, but I guess, you know, dancing, doing something. I don't know. I could just see Hebrews like Josh. Look on the bottom of the man in the sinner's garment right above his green. What do you think they're going to say those are? Um, I think the robe. He's got, He's his, got his, his fringes, fringes on. on. Yes, they're they're, they're going to say those are fringes. Guarantee you. All right, let's continue on here. Let's see. All right. Now, if I had to bet, this man is part of the Three Kings art. Do you guys celebrate uh, Three Kings Day in DR? You know, like Puerto, in Puerto yeah, Rico, do. that's a thing. Can you tell people what yeah. Three Kings Day is real quick? Uh, I'm not, not an expert, but um, I believe it's um, the Dia de los Reyes. Um, the, I think uh, the wise men. Uh, yes. Man. It's supposed to be the like, men, yeah. like so in DR yeah. and PR, I don't know where else, but like they um, will um, like celebrate when supposedly the wise men came and brought the gifts and stuff like that, I guess. And I guess yeah. people give gifts to each other. Well, in, in medieval Europe, uh, three kings motif was a prominent motif. And so what they do is they'll have uh, a lot of artwork showing the three kings. And Josh, have you seen like even in movies where a lot of the Jews are portrayed as white, which by the way, we're not saying is accurate. Have you noticed one time if they have three wise men, usually one of them looks what color? Yeah, black. Usually, right? It's a common thing. Yeah. There's sort of a tradition that one, one of them was black, right? My, and mm -hmm. so a lot of these paintings are from Three Kings art. And I'm going to show you one that I know is from the Three Kings motif. I'm not sure about this one because it's totally decontextualized. But notice he does have something in his hand there. And there is a white dude behind him. I bet you this is Three Kings art. Now we're going to show it in a second here. And we're going to show why that's a problem. Now, again, I, what, what are any of these pictures? You know, there's someone white with them. It just does. There's no context to it. Exactly. Don't know the context of this one. This is Don't know the context of this one. I bet you that's Three Kings art, though. He's got a gift in his hand, and there's a white dude in front of him. It looks like he's carrying something, too. Don't know. We'll see. That dude looks like a, almost like a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Now the guy has armor on, but being in uh, having armor on doesn't make you a ruler of Europe. Exactly. Don't know about this guy. Yeah. Now, <sighs> this guy doesn't look like he's the guy in charge. So uh, here's what here's what I'm saying, guys. Were there Africans, people of African descent, in Europe during the medieval era? Of course, we don't even really know when Africans. And Europeans kind of discovered each other. The evidence seems to point it's almost uh, a time of history that's almost like prehistory, meaning pre-written history. They've kind of known about each other for a long time, meaning you hear about the so-called discovery of America, right? By Europe and whatever, 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 whatever. You hear about, you don't hear about really when did Africans discover Europe and when did uh, Europeans discover Africa because it's like they've always known. Spain is right across from North Africa. Sicily is right across from North Africa. Viva Italia, right across from each other. My point is, if this was just proving that there's artistic renditions that people of African descent have always been present in Europe and some have been warriors and had positions of prominence, no one's arguing that. Here's the problem. 
It doesn't prove they're ruling European countries. It doesn't prove that. And it doesn't prove they're freaking Israelites. What what about exactly. these p- picture shows that they're Israelites? Nothing. Now, can, like, let's... Oh, man, these guys. Here we're watching this. Now, that dude, I don't know. <laughs> that dude looks like he I might be... What's going on, bro. Yeah, that dude looks like he might be on a... Uh, one of those RuPaul, yeah. RuPaul reality shows or something. You know I mean? <laughs> now, look. Look at the bottom of this one. I got to take off the shades to see it. One of the few statutes called St. Maurice that could possibly represent the mythical Roman soldier Maurice. He's portrayed in a Roman uniform, 1613. Just a question. Did the guy who posted these even read them? On his own little caption, whoever made this, it says it's, um, number one, a mythical soldier. Number two, he's a Roman soldier. Question, did Roman soldiers rule Europe? No, they were sent out to fight barbarians, got themselves killed, and if they didn't get themselves killed, they could come back and make some cash and maybe get a wife or two. This is true. But a mythical soldier? They're tr- they literally are trying to pull the wool over our eyes. A mythical exactly. soldier is not does not equal a Hebrew Israelite ruling Europe. Dear God, for you. It's crazy man. It's crazy man. Same thing. Same thing with this. Same thing. And uh let's see. It says a similar thing there. I'm not gonna read all these. Now Brother Josh, tell me what you think of this guy, whoever this guy is. He looks uncomfortable. Like he doesn't like he doesn't look okay. What does it look like is around his neck? Chain, I believe. Yeah. Now again, this is totally decontextualized. So we don't know we're not art historians. We'd have to find out where this is from. I guarantee the TikToker guy's not an art historian either. Exactly. This brother does not look like he's ruling nothing. Exactly. He ain't got no shoes on. He's got chains around his neck, and he don't look real happy with, with burden on his back. <coughs> now, it's funny. They do a close-up of him. Like, <laughs> close-up of him. Like, like that proves anything. <laughs> yeah, it, like it proves anything. And, I mean, look, if we're going to be getting all technical about people's phenotypes, the way they look, certainly the brother's facial structure, you can make the argument. But this brother's got some curly locks. Exactly. This brother might be Dominican. I mean, not. I'm, I'm obviously not modern. I'm kind of making a joke. I'm just saying he doesn't. It's almost like they'll tell you someone is black and you just say they're black when the statue has no skin tone to it. So we don't really know. And he doesn't look like he's running stuff. Yeah. Miss Titus, too, just brings out the point. How do we know the statue is black? Now, again, you can make sort of an estimation based upon a phenotype of certain features. Mm-hmm. But this is just silly. Hebrew Israelites, why do you guys do this stuff? <laughs> what was the guy? Right? Why is this guy watching little white babies? What's he? I mean, I don't know how that makes him in charge. He's got that little sickly baby beside him. I have no I mean, idea. He's man. got a, He's got some chains. He's got some bling. He got a nice belt. Yeah. I mean, I'm not hating on the brother's outfit, but I, wow, somebody's making him watch little white babies or something. <laughs> Uh, he don't look too happy about it either. <laughs> he ain't got no crown. I mean, you're going to prove to me these are rulers? Now, I don't think this dude looks black. Some of these I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Look real close. Look at his cheeks. What do his cheeks? Do you see his cheeks, Josh? Yeah, I think a little bit of red. The brother's got some tinted rosy cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a sign of being an Edomite cracker. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't know that was a sign of being a black man That's ruling weird. Europe. And he's got those little exactly. dainty knee pads on. I mean, how was it? Red cheeks? Red cheeks? Exactly. Must be from Edom, man. <laughs> now, what is this? Don't know. Look, it's clearly the black. The material is made out of something darker. But that doesn't tell you anything about what they were. Now, someone's going to say, oh, the noses are missing. Now, someone who says that doesn't understand the iconoclast movement. Iconoclasm was a movement started by Protestant reformers 
And they did get a little carried away. They, they, would, they got a little carried away at points. But basically, they started smashing all the Roman Catholic pagan statues. Started going there, smashing them. They would have parties. People would even get drunk and turn it into a, I mean, hey, there's no TikTok. What are you going to do? Go smash your statue. Sounds like a good night on the town, right? But yeah. sometimes they didn't want to go all the way, Josh. They didn't want to go all out. So you know what they would do to say they destroyed the, the statue? Knock the nose off. Sometimes, and so that's why a lot of statues you see in these contexts are missing just the nose. Oh. Now, conspiracy theorists say that's because they're trying to show you that they're not black because they don't have, they got rid of the nose. I mean, is that is that all it is? Like, you can't tell someone's black unless the nose is there? Exactly. Whatever black means in this context wasn't even a thing then, but here we go. Now, bro, on the bottom of this, I can't read the language, but on the very bottom, Josh, do you see the date there? Yes, 1415. Ah, uh, is that 1415 or 1915? Maybe you're right. Maybe it is not 1415. But doesn't that look like some sci-fi? I wonder if this is 1915 because that looks like something some modern artist would make, doesn't it? Like, yeah, it, it looks like a four. Maybe maybe it's 1915, but it does look sci. Yeah, it kind of does look like a sci-fi character. I don't think this is some historically anything. accurate statue. You know? No. Royal Israelite Royal Israel. Art Seven. I don't see how that looks like a black person anyway. The only thing I think they could say is, well, look at the statue. It's got the heads of Moors on it. They're going to point to the statue. But if you notice, the people on the statue look different than the person holding the statue. Exactly. And no context. So how do we know? This brother needs a shave. Some dudes look good. You know, <sighs> he was trying to pull off the James Harden before James Harden was around. But it just wasn't yeah. working for him. I, I mean, I almost wonder if they Photoshop James Harden's head on top of his. He just ain't working for the guy. It's too much, man. They took a homeless guy and they put him in a night outfit and they said <laughs> they did a Trading Places 1415 version. Now, does this look like royalty? This looks like a person oh. doing menial labor with the apron on. Oh, my goodness. This is hilarious. This we is actually funny. And there's Peter. Saint Peter. Now, I'm there. Uh, let me find the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some final comments here. I'm gonna play this through silently. Uh, final comments on the little Hebrews Light art show. So this is the kind of stuff you can find all over the Hebrews Light world, and now it's also on TikTok. You've seen stuff like this before. Um. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And you see how long it takes to respond to it? Yeah. You know, just to like do it, it takes like a little while. It doesn't it doesn't prove anything either. No, it doesn't. Now here's the one I wanted to show real quick. Just look everyone on your screen if you could. Uh so there's uh there's the dude who's supposed to represent black Israelite royalty. There's a white dude mm -hmm. bowing down. But question, Josh, uh that white man with the uh John Picard haircut, uh Jean Luc Picard, wh who's he bowing down to? I, that might be baby Jesus. That's little white baby Jesus, little white Mary. So Exactly. So let me ask you, Josh, around just would you say that this happened in the in, in the medieval era or maybe in the first century? This is the thing it's depicting. First century. First century. Look like that. So let's do a little little uh thought experiment here. Um is the first century in the Middle Ages? No, sir. No, it's considered <laughs> ancient history. This is so stupid. You heave your Israelites on TikTok. Some of you are liars. I'm just saying straight up, you are liars. This is a lie to say Israelite royalty. This is a portrayal of the three wise men giving gifts to baby Jesus. In the same little picture, you're trying to prove your point. You've got white Jesus running around. Now, you don't rock with white Jesus and white Mary, but that's what you decided exactly. to pick because you don't know what you're doing, TikToker. You don't know what you're doing. This is, this is Three Kings art. That dude is one of the wise men. This is not medieval royalty, man. Y'all are liars, man. You're lying. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited because I hate deception like this. Yeah, bro. Feel you. It's really sad. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the next one. What's, what, do you remember what the next one is? I believe it was Nick Cannon. and uh... Oh, this is yours, right? You rocking yeah. this? You rocking this one? All right. Which account was that? Which account was that? Uh, was this one's like sophisticated ignorance, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, so here's a TikTok <laughs> account called Sophisticated Ignorance. And what they did is took just a little clip from the Nick Cannon Griff joint, and it's 59 seconds, so we're going to let uh, Josh comment on it. So here we go. All right, let me get the sound back up. So, and, and I'm in front of a room full of Jewish people. <laughs> right. And I'm asking basic questions, and maybe you can help me out. Right. <laughs> so let's look up the word anti-Semitic. Right. Who are the Semitic people? And then we're going to get to the public enemy thing. Right. So I looked up who is the Semitic people, and there's a list of Semitic people, and anyone can do this right now. You can look up who are the Semitic people, what are the Semitic languages. Right. Has absolutely nothing to do with any white people. Right. Fact. Not at all. So in order for me to be anti-Semitic, I'd have to be anti-black man, anti-black woman, anti-black people, anti-Africa, anti-all of the people. Because the Semitic people are black people. Are black people. So, so y'all yeah, get that clarity. We're going to say that again. Now, the Semitic people are black people. So I cannot be anti-Semitic. Now, what do they really use the phrase anti So Griff cannot be anti-Semitic. Right. Right. That's Nick Cannon's response. Right. 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 <laughs> so, Josh, uh, what do you think about that clip there? I mean, the TikTok name is Sophisticated Ignorance, right? Yes, it is. That's exactly what this sounds like. Sophisticated ignorance. Not you does not that does not prove anything. To be anti Semitic is to be anti black man. You didn't say anything, you didn't provide any historical documents. And I've seen it like a video, like, you know, they, they, they're asking Jewish boys like, Do you know your history? And then they say, like, you guys are fake. I, I don't there's like a black Hebrew Israelite movie. I'm like, does that prove anything? That this is sophisticated ignorance. You don't you're not proving anything. You're just proving your ignorance. Almost really, really 4,000 hearts, almost 4,000 hearts, 3,800, 260 comments, 601 shares. It tells you a lot about the people watching. It's, it's really sad. So they can either watch Nick Cannon and go, ride, right, ride, right. or a 15-year-old girl shake her posterior. Take your pick, TikTok. Take your pick. <laughs> or you can watch my man Josh. Tell people again real quick, how do they find your TikTok uh, channel, my man? You can... You can find me on Instagram at Joshua Janier. Um, J A N N I E R E. Yes, sir. That's my last name. Janier, yes. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, uh, Griff says, it didn't say anything about white people. Um, Semitic had to do with languages, a lot of it, in the, and I think it's some of the definitions there. And so that doesn't exactly. really have to do with what you look like anyway. And, exactly. And kind of leave out the fact that uh, Arab folks are mentioned. And so this is bizarre. But let's just let's just say what he's saying is right. Semitic essentially means black. He's black. Therefore, he can't hate people that are Semitic. Um, Rwanda, anybody? Does anybody exactly. remember the different tribal ethnic groups in Rwanda killing each other? Does, is this... we? Does anyone know about the recent uprisings in Ethiopia that are partially comprised of one ethnic group between another? Does anyone realize that in Nigeria, the tension is not just between Muslims killing Christians and kidnapping their little girls. It's also partially between different ethnic groups in Nigeria. Do, do we realize this? Like a lot of these folks in some of these countries, their biggest enemies are not some colonizer way out there when you talk about all history, obviously with transatlantic slave trade and during colonial times, that's one thing. But it's not some white man, right? It's a, it's a neighbor of a, of a rival group a lot of times. So what does it even mean? Just because, let's just say that he's Semitic and therefore black people are Semitic, everyone's Semitic, so he can't be anti-Semitic. You can, why couldn't you hate other Semitic people? The, even if the argument was true, ladies and gentlemen, it makes no sense. And like Josh said, sounds like sophisticated Ignorance. Ignorance. Next one is Jasmine Kimball. Did you real? Did you uh, recognize what what this one was from? A music video, I believe. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's a brief, a real brief one. It's from uh, Black is King. Have you seen Black is King yet? Nah, man. Yeah, me, <sighs> yeah, me neither. I, I, you're, you're not. You don't rock with the Beehive. Nah, bro. <sighs> nah. All right, so uh, let's watch this. This one's real short. Um, what this shows right here is 
confirmation bias. So again, we're in the magical world of Hebrews or like TikTok, everybody. And what we're doing is we're uh, looking at um, we're looking at different TikTok videos they put up. This doesn't have that many views or hearts. I just found it fascinating. Hashtag Black is King. Hashtag 12 Tribes of Israel. FYP BLM the Lion King. All right. What the person watching is they're gonna they're gonna count to twelve, and the reason they are they're gonna say these twelve men must represent the twelve tribes of Israel because it's hashtag that way. What this shows you is that once you go Hebrew Israelite, you literally see Hebrew Israelite nonsense everywhere you look. These folks think that the X Men movies are about them. They think that L Black is King is about the twelve tribes of Israel. You, it's it, it embeds in you a confirmation bias so bad, it's difficult to replicate or duplicate. Watch this. There's 12 guys there. Must be hashtag 12 tribes of Israel. Exactly. Now, uh, if you've seen people in like the Bahamas or say in Ghana, and you've seen their legal proceedings, guess what? Places that were former colonies of the British Empire are still influenced by the way the Brits did things. Guess what is one of the ways Brits did thing in regards to their legal system? And notice these guys have on the old white wigs, like the whole I'm a judge thing. Yeah. These guys are like representing of judges. Like the like a lot of like former British colonies that still are influenced by their legal system. That's most likely what it is. Not 12 tribes of Israel. By the way, you should watch Nefertiti and Miss Titus 2 stuff on Black is King. It shows you how it's replete with paganism, animism, polytheism. Why would someone think that Beyonce also has stuff in Hebrew Israelism in there? I mean, I guess anything's possible these days, but. Exactly. <laughs> I thought that was funny, though. Hashtag 12 tribes of Israel. One, two, three, four. Three, four. <laughs> See? Man, they're, they're doing some good work out here in these streets. Okay, now this one is actually from Nathaniel Israel's account himself. The leader of IUIC. Now, do I really think Nate is spending time on TikTok? I, I don't think so. I'm sure he, you know, there's probably some uh, Generation Zer over there, yeah. you know what I'm saying, in um, IUIC who's running for him. Uh, but he's got 10,000 followers, over 99,000 likes, wow. and he's uh, he's doing it at IUIC7. Let's uh, see what he's got here for us here. This is for more artwork stuff going on here. So let's take a little look. We won't spend that much time on this one, but let's take a look. Egypt. Okay. So they're going to show Moses two times in a picture I'm about to show you. Let's go up. Let's go up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at Moses of the tribe of Levi, of the nation of Israel, a Hebrew, a Semite. They showed Moses two times. Look, look at the Afros. Look at the Afros. He's a black, this is a black man. Moses is black. Moses' skin color, by the way, is the same hand color as the hand of God. The skin color is the same as the drowning Egyptians. Look, black. Hit Israelites marching out. Look at this. Black. And above that, you got Aaron, the high priest, right there. So again, look at Moses. Black men. That's Moses. They portrayed Moses twice. All right. Uh, I got some comments. I know I'm, I think I'm taking this one, but do you have anything you want to say before uh talk about their pretty pictures? I mean, what's the context? Like... No contact. Just, just they just said it's Moses, the hands of God. What is that like? Where is this from? When was this? Well, that's drawn, you know? this one had briefly. It briefly told you where the images are from, so it's a little bit better 
than the other one, okay. but let's talk about it. Uh, as Isaiah Braxton realized, uh, points out, I'm glad Isaiah knows, uh, this is from art in a church in Syria. Good job, Isaiah. You are correct. And specifically, it's Dura Europus, all right? Now, I'm just going to show you one image from Dura Europus Church. Just one. Uh, what do you think of that, wow. Joe? Can you see that? Um, yeah, it definitely doesn't look like like black like Hebrews. Like look at that. Black. The ma- Wait, oh, he's not black, actually. He's... Uh, look at that. A light-skinned black man. He's... This is also from the same set of pay, uh, paintings. This is from a Christian church. Now, here's the silliness of what they do. If they find something they think they can say is a black image, they'll be like, yo. First of all, if you look at this, it's clear there's some miscolorization that is set in in this partic- the particular one he's showing. Because it, has that, it almost has a strange red tint. You guys, you guys can see it right there. It's called oxidation is what happens, right? Now... If you look at it, that's 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 a problem, first of all, because you don't really know the original color, right? Second of all, anybody can go and look at the images because there's a whole bunch of images from Dura Europus. There's actually some manuscripts that have come from there, a pretty important church that they found, right? You go there, and they have images of all kinds of Bible characters there. Everybody go there right now, D-U-R-A-E-U-R-O-P-O-S, and look there at, at, at the images, right? Uh, and what you'll find is uh, they look like all kinds of ways. And he's over there telling you it's an afro, but for real? Is that what it is? This is almost what's called the power of suggestion. Nate will be on there with a booming microphone, you know, and he'll, um, he'll... Now look at this image, Black. What they don't tell you is... Look at that. Clearly, Moses is a black man. Look. It's the power of suggestion. So then in your mind, you think, oh, they've lied to us. Nate says it's true. So that's what it is. But if you really look at these things objectively, it's not, first of all, it's not really clear. Phenotype, you can't look at a picture and tell tell what somebody is. Like, I'll give you an example. Do you ever watch, uh, I don't watch it anymore. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. uh, On DC, what is it? uh, WB Network. What was it on? uh, Legends of... uh, of tomorrow or something to, with uh sounds familiar uh there's a guy in their name captain cold captain cold and he's he's a pretty cool character it's in the same thing as the Arrowverse and 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 the flash that whole dc universe supergirl all that legends of tomorrow or future past i forget what it is but whatever it is uh there's a guy in their name captain cold the the actor i forget his name he has a short cropped hair the actor that plays CW, thank you, Nate. The actor that plays Captain Cold, his dad is black. If you look at this dude, you would never guess he has a black father. He doesn't look like it at all. He, you, you would not be able to tell strictly from looking at, I'm going to call him Captain Cold, because that's his name in the show, and I don't know the actor's name. Legends of Tomorrow. What do you mean you never heard of him, Fred? Fred, look up Captain Cold, Legends of Tomorrow. If you've seen the show, you've got to see him. He's like one of the coolest characters on there. He's like a bad guy who kind of goes good. Anyways... You cannot tell from someone's phenotype, the way they look, what they are. And certainly for not some old, from old painting, and especially when you're going to skip over paintings that don't confirm your thesis and only skip to ones that you think confirm your thesis. This is a bunch of nonsense. Hebrew is like, literally, it's like, it's almost like they, it's like children level stuff. Like, let's, um, let's look at, let, like, let's look at stuff that's, you know, pictures, and we're gonna we're gonna prove stuff from pictures. It's just, um, and uh, not not only that, but um, this uh, these paintings, Josh, they're uh, I forget the exact dates. We got we gotta we gotta check it out. Um, I, I can't remember the exact dates. I'm gonna say like the 300s. So maybe someone could look this up and find out how old this is. Um, here's my point. I think these paintings. I know they're they're from the from the from ancient times post Christ, though, obviously. Uh, let's say they're in the 300s. Here's my point. Could someone living in the 300s know what Moses looked like? Absolutely not. Absolutely Oops! Not. Oops! <laughs> this is what's so silly about this. The man would have no... Whoever's drawing this has no way to know what Moses even looked like. At least he didn't make him purple, though. That's all I got to say about that. All right, which one's next? 
<laughs> which one's next here? Let's see which one's next. It's uh oh, this has got to be my favorite one, bro. Southern Kingdom, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. Uh, it says underneath his account, it says, cash at me, Israel for life 12, lost my job, anything helps. And then he has Paleo Hebrew underneath. So guys, if you want to support this man, help cook him up, he says he's a Benjamite, that means he'd be uh, most likely of Jamaican descent, because that's that's what they say, Southern Kingdom, Benjamin, from Genesis 49. So are, are, do you remember this video, bro? Do you know, remember the one I'm about to play? I believe so. Uh, let me take a look at it. I'll get, uh, this is the scariest one, in my opinion. Really? The, brother, he looks like he's about to rob a bank. <laughs> when you see it, you'll remember. So this one I just found fascinating because it kind of freaked me out. But really, all he's doing is just giving a classic One West spiel. He's probably, oh, with, okay. probably with, he's probably with GMS, and he probably wants to get a job, so he's not uh, doesn't want to show his face or something like that. And uh, so, are you, are you ready? This says, we are the true Hebrew Israelites. And he's got a painting in the background. Again, Hebrew Israelites love pictures. He's got yeah, uh, black Jesus and the, and, the 12, and the 12 disciples there. What do you think of a ski mask? Is uh, You like that? You feeling that? You're, you're, I mean, <laughs> it looks scary, man. It does. <laughs> I remember this one. Now, if he only had a ski mask, Josh... We could let that slide, right? Like, okay, right? You know, okay, you're doing your thing. But what else about this video is weird? Do you remember? I think the voice effect. Yeah, bro. He's, he's got the voice. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. He's like this. He's like this. What's up, Israel? This is the 12 tribes. Yasharala. Kwam Yahasharala. Wake up to your true heritage, Israel. First, I want to say, Yahweh, Ahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rahak Kadash. I will give a shout out to the elders of GMS. Pick up to your true heritage, Israel. The brother has a voice effect with the man. He's he looks like he kidnapped somebody's kids in the movie and he's about to give the ransom note or something. <laughs> All right, let's play this one. Let's see what he's gonna do here. All right, first things first. I'm gonna pray to how about should be able to shot. First things first, I want to praise Yahweh Abba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And all you guys out there. All you guys out there. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because all know that you guys are the true Hebrew Israelites. You guys are the true Hebrew Israelites. Of the Bible. Alright? Of the Bible. First right. thing you guys need to understand that. First thing you guys need to understand that. We are God's chosen. We are God's chosen. Okay. Okay. You have to come back to your... You have to come back to your true heritage. Nationality. Alright? There's 12 tribes in the nation of Israel. Alright? There's 12 tribes in the nation of... Hey! Josh, how do we know that's not you, bro? How do we know that's not true? No, how do we know I that's mean, not you? Oh, that's not me. Yeah, bro, that's you. What? That's like you got a, like a sock account, a sock puppet account, or something. <laughs> no, man, that's not me, man. That's not you. Okay, bro, whatever you say, man. Just kidding. Dude. Jacob had twelve sons, and those twelve sons make up Israel. Okay. Jacob had twelve sons, and those twelve sons make up Israel. Okay. Clearly, he's with GMS. They're the guys who constantly do the OKs. There's got to be a GMS guy. You're not black. You're not Hispanic. Okay? You're not Native American. We are the children of Israel. Yasharala. God's chosen. Okay. Uh, comments. Oh. Th there's not, not a lot to say that when he's just um, giving a little spiel. But do you think that's going to appeal to anybody? <laughs> I mean, if. I don't, I don't, I have no idea, man. It, it, might, it just might, you know, people are being deceived, man. Like, that doesn't prove anything. I don't, he said no scripture. Did he say scripture? I don't think so. So, nah. No. <laughs> hey, that dude could secretly be a white dude, man. Exactly. Nobody knows. He, he put the voice modulator on there. In real life, he's like, uh, he's got like one of those real high pitched voices. He's like, hey guys, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. 
<laughs> but he, he don't want to show himself on here. So he put that voice modulator, cover up his face. It's some white dude who wants to be down. <laughs> lordy, lordy, help this shorty. All right. Um, let's go to the next one. Do you remember what the next one is? As we take a stroll uh, through, Hebrews are like TikTok. By the way, he has uh, almost 1,200 followers. Oh, wow. So he, I don't know. Give him 3,000 more, bro. He's going to catch up with you. Yeah. Oh, hey, the next one's your homeboy. Ah, the one who blocked me. Tell the okay. story, bro. What's up What's up with your man? Why'd he block you, bro? Why was you trolling him, man? I, what happened? I mean, I was just debunking his claims of scripture, and then he just blocked me one day. Like, we've, we've, we've conversated multiple times on TikTok, and he just, he just blocked me. It's, it's hilarious. So when I sent you the video for this guy, you couldn't see it or what? No, I couldn't. I, I saw it through my email, though. Right, right, right. So this is official Levite. What do you guys are you about? Um, Deuteronomy twenty-eight, their favorite verse. But I mean, I mean, one of their favorite verses to take out of context. Deuteronomy twenty-eight, especially verse sixty-eight. And that's that's what we were arguing about. I was like, that's not true. It has nothing to do with African slaves. I don't know what you're talking about. And he just blocked you. He ain't even have time for yep. that. He was like, no time. But it's all right. It's whatever. All right. Well, let's see. Is a uh, is official Levite, if he hears about me uh, doing the show, is he, is he going to block me too? Well, will I not be able to see his precious videos anymore? Let's find out. I like this guy, though, a little bit because at least he looks in the camera, doesn't have a mask on, doesn't have a voice modulator. He don't just see his hands. He actually looks in the camera and talks kind of like a normal TikToker. So let's check out this guy. Hold up. So for all my blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all still think the Bible is a white man's book? Let me show you something. Let's look at now. So far, so good. Josh, is the Bible a white man's book? Um, no, it's not. I'm so sorry for the noise in the background. Oh, that's all right. I got you, bro. Hey, things going on now. So, all the Christians in the audience should agree. We understand the Bible is not the white man's book, right? So we agree. If that's all he was saying. But he's going to get all silly here, and you can tell already by the thing on the screen. Song of Solomon. What's he going to do here? I hope he's not going to quote the part where it's the woman talking and say that it's Solomon just because just it's might. in the book of Solomon. What do you think? You think he's going to do that? He just might. Maybe. Huh. That's what Muslims do when they when they go. I think it's Song of Solomon 16. First, um, chapter six, when they when they like they try to insert Muhammad in there, I was like, that's that's ice of Jesus at its best. They'd be quoting the girl part. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> well, it's about to happen. So let's let's listen to the guy who blocked you. The Solomon chapter one verse five. It says, "I am black, but calmly." If you don't know what calmly means, it means beautiful, attractive, appealing to the eye. Let's look at six. Look not upon me because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon. Solomon was a black man, but it's a white man's book, right? Let me show <sighs> Let's take a look at Song of Solomon 1 5. You got it up? Yeah, I'll get it up. Here we go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll read 2 3 4, and then I'll let you speak on uh, this. Um, and, and a lot of Bibles even tell you who's talking. I guess he just kind of missed it. Song of Solomon, which is Solomon's. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, verse 2 says, for your love is better than wine. Your anointing oils are fragrant. Your name is oil poured out. Therefore, virgins love you. Draw me after, let us run. The king has brought me into his chambers. We will exalt and rejoice in you. We will exalt your love more than wine. Rightly do they love you. I am very dark, but lovely. O oh, daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Solomon, do not gaze at me because I am dark, because the sun has looked upon me. My mother's sons were angry with me. They made me keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. Tell me, you whom my soul loves, where, your pa where you pasture your flock, where you make, make it lie down at noon, for why should I be like one who veils herself? beside the flocks of your companions. So we went up to verse 7. What do you want to say about that, Josh? Does that prove uh, what, that Solomon was black? No, it doesn't. 
prove that his shorty maybe was black, but not not Solomon. And just taking things out of context. I believe like doesn't like when it talks about black, it's like mourning something like that. It has nothing to do with skin color. Well, it's, you know, right after it, it does say because the sun has looked upon me. So, so what we're seeing here is, and and, and there's this there's this uh, motif about being out in a vineyard. So there's a debate about how to interpret the Song of Solomon. You know, what's literal, what's not. Let's go with a more literal interpretation right here. I'm okay with that. And we look, and here she is. She's talking. And notice, it's the she. Because all you got to look at is a context here. Mr. Official, uh, what's his name? Official leader. Wisely. Wisely, yeah, whatever it is, yeah. Uh, Official Wisely, and I think his thing is like... Uh, official Levite on the other on his name, so he might be Haitian. Uh, it's it says here. <laughs> why should it be like one who veils herself? In verse seven, it's the same person speaking. This is a female speaking. You guys cannot keep track with the context, literally from one line to the other. Not only that, but it says the reason why she was darker than usual, she was out in the sun. Now, some would say, oh, vocab's dumb. He doesn't understand. The black people can get darker. I know that. We, we understand that. But notice the idea here is I'm dark and I'm darker. This makes it sound like a dark-skinned person getting darker. It's different than black, and it's not Solomon anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Let's see what else he says here. Another example. If you look at Job chapter 30, verse 30, it says, My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burnt with heat. My skin is black upon me. My skin is black upon me, Job 30, 30. And my bones are burned with heat. It's funny, in both of these passages, there's a similarity with them. There's a similarity. Both speak about folks being out in the sun. All right, but exactly. th- what do you think of the Job 30, 31 he used there? Are we going to take the literal um, interpretation? Yeah, or I mean, whatever, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, so, well, let's look at it like this. Let's look at it like this, right? So we're in Job 30. So you got Job. What's the context of Job 30, right? Dude's all kinds of beat up. Yep. Right? Lots of bad going on. Yep. And uh, now we look, and he's talking about the physical things that have been happening. This is not Job in his healthiest. You know, this is not Job doing real good, right? Exactly. And look what he says. And it's funny, if you you go back to 19, you can kind of see it. Uh, God has cast me into the mire, and I become like dust and ashes. You know, you you guys can see it right there, you know? The situation is popping. 28, I go about darkened, but not by the sun. I stand up in the Uh-oh. assembly and cry for help. So it's darkened. So he's darker than he was, not by the sun. He's, he's all sick and messed up. I'm a brother of jackals and a companion of ostriches. My skin turns black and falls from me, and my bones burn with heat. My lyre is turned to mourning, and my pipe is to the voice of those who weep. Now, look, here's the funny thing about Job. Was Job even an Israelite? Now, I, I don't know if the guy is saying he's an Israelite, but Job's not even an Israelite anyway. Exactly. Now, if he's just saying the Bible's not, not a black man's book, okay. But, you know, but these are, these, these are what Hebrewites call the color scriptures. They actually call them that, yeah. the color scriptures. You probably see these a lot on TikTok, too. You see a lot of these? Yeah, I do. They they love to quote Job and, and yeah Revelation one fourteen that's their favorite passage. So I go Jesus is black Jesus is black I'm like calm down bro calm down <laughs> calm down. We got a Hebrew Israelite here Judah the lion and he says stop twisting your ear and drop that knowledge Josh. I think he wants you to interpret it a certain way. He, I think he feels like I'm interpreting it for you. Because I, I mean what I not not really I mean if we look at the context it says. You know, verse verse twenty eight. I go about darkened, but not by the sun. So it's like doesn't doesn't help you anyway. He and, says, you know, he Job says, was an Edomite. I want you to interpret it. Come on, Josh, you can do it. I mean, <laughs> he's. I mean, let's, the, the context is Job. Job was going through some struggles. 
I mean, if you vocab read the context, then it's like it's obviously not talking about his his actual skin color, but what he's going through, his physical ailment. So there you go. Yeah. This is sick, Job. He's rooting for you. He's all like, "Come on, Josh. I know you can ice a jeep." Come on, man. You could do it. You could twist the scripture. You could misinterpret. Nah, Come man. on, man. He's rooting for you. He exegete over here. He exegete over here. All right, let's play the rest of this. There's uh, 20 seconds left. That's another person in the Bible that's black, but it's a white man's book. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 says, My people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. This is not a white man's book. This is your history. This is about you. This is about your people, the 12 tribes of Israel. This is not a white man's book. Know your history. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's not saying in Hosea they were destroyed because they didn't know they were actually black. Exactly. You know how many times I heard that? Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, man. It's like it's everywhere in my comments when I do videos against the black Hebrews of life. Like my people perish because of lack of knowledge. It's like, it's like that. I mean, that's not going to happen to the black Hebrew Israelites. You know, just taking verses out of context. <laughs> and pictures and paintings. Exactly. Um, Look at this picture of medieval black royalty. Oh, actually, this picture is a um, picture of uh, one of the three wise men giving uh, gifts to baby Jesus. And in the painting, baby Jesus is portrayed as white. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hilarious. All right, we got to hurry up and finish this. This is going a little bit longer than once. My bad. I guess I've been talking a little bit too much. Uh, here's the next one. This is when white people finally start being honest, when they finally start telling the truth this is probably one of my favorite ones man do you remember this one yeah i do i've seen this one a lot oh this so this was making the rounds yeah it's it's everywhere man it's literally everywhere like this particular white guy is everywhere all over tiktok yeah not not everywhere with tiktok but everywhere on the black keepers like pages now, I know who this guy is. That's what makes it funny. So let's play this and watch this. This is all over. This is from Black Jew 55 Gabe, posted July 1st. Here we go. This is their book. This is written about their family. You can easily see it from beginning to end that this is about one people. One people. He's not the God of the Gentiles, the Hudim, the Greek. He's only the Elohim of Israel. Christians have done nothing but leech off the heritage of another people. They, they practice replacement theology and put themselves as the people of the book. Yahweh has a people that he was sent to. And it's the lost sheep of the house of Israel, his firstborn son. I'm, I am not sorry to tell you that Abraham, the father of the faith, was not a Christian. He was a Hebrew. I am in no way apologetic to tell you that his son Isaac also was a Hebrew. And I am no way going to tiptoe around the fact that Jacob, Jacob, was a Hebrew whose name was changed to Israel, who gave birth to the twelve... I, I just love the way he's yelling and just and he's got a camouflage shirt on. He's against his door with a clock in the back. I don't know why. It's just everything about that video is epic. <laughs> and it's funny the way it's titled White People Finally Tell the Truth. <laughs> Do they get paid for this? Like no, no, here's what's so funny. Josh, this guy is a member of a Hebrew Israelite congregation that accepts quote Gentiles. Oh, wow. He's in Pastor Dow's group. He's down there in the compound wow. in Tennessee. Because Dow will Let's white folks come in because a lot of people don't know Dow was trained by a white pastor named R.G. Stair, who's in prison for pedophilia. And what happened is uh, Dow switched it over from a weird Pentecostal ministry to an even, even weirder Pentecostal influenced Hebrew Israelite ministry. So he kept a lot of those same white people and then allowed white people, quote, in. And so he's got, like, these white leaders who cape for him. When I um, went after Dow one time for some bad doctrine he was doing, he didn't respond to me. He sent, like, five or six white Hebrew Israelites after me. I did a whole show on it called uh, The White Hebrew Israelites Strike Back because they were coming after me. And he, that video he's showing, that video is about me. It's, 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 that video is for me. It's, like, titled, like, Vocab. I forget what it's called. But it was when all the Dowlites who were whites – Made videos about me. So that video, the funny thing about that little famous video, it's when he's yelling at me. He's yelling at me. 
<laughs> I am not ashamed to tell you that I follow a cult leader who steals our wives. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I've seen a lot of videos of white people saying that the blacks are the true Israelites. I'm like, but, like, there's there's another one of, of a female speaking, and I'm like, she doesn't look comfortable. You know, like, there's no background. It's just her face speaking. I'm like, she's being forced to say this? <laughs> it's a Hebrew like, is like terrorist on the side of her head. <laughs> imagine. I'm like, oh, my, that would be crazy. Hey, hey, did you know, Joshua, that Abraham wasn't a Christian? Uh, well, obviously, he believed in Yahweh, though. So no. And you know what's funny, though, everybody? These folks forget about John 8. Exactly. Abraham saw my day and yep. rejoiced in it. So you can say Abraham wasn't a Christian, but Jesus says he saw the days of Christ and rejoiced. And guess what? Paul describes himself as a blank of the blank. Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew Philippians, of the Hebrews Hebrew. and Philippians, right? And yep. yet, Paul also in Acts is called a Christian by Agrippa, and he says, "Well, are you can try to make me a Christian too." Paul says, "Not only you, but everybody who hears me this day." So Paul was a Christian, even though he was also a Hebrew of the Hebrews. So guess what? To all the Daoites, whether you wear a camo shirt or not, being a Hebrew and being a Christian are not antithetical to each other. Most of the first Christians were Hebrews. We know that. But it's so funny, you know, these videos. <laughs> they put, they got this guy. I like the guy's passion, though. Yeah. I like his, his fire. It's almost like uh, when uh, Vader is fighting um, Obi-Wan in uh, The Return of the Jedi, and apparently Vader doesn't know that Yoda's still alive, and he says, Obi-Wan has taught you well. <laughs> to the white Hebrew Israelites, Pastor Dow has taught you well. <laughs> Hilarious, man. <laughs> I see you've constructed your own lightsaber. Indeed, you are powerful, as the Emperor has forewarned. Okay, uh, we got, uh, what do we got? Uh, one or two more. I don't think we're going to be able to get to all these, actually, Josh. We might have to, the, we might have to skip... I think we're going to have to skip the very last one because that one's like the most detailed. So mm -hmm. let's make this the last one. I'll let you give a few brief comments, and then we'll give your TikTok out one more time. But again, I'm with my man Josh today. He's a great dude. He's rocking it on TikTok. He's doing great work. Young reform brother, uh, doing, doing good things and uh, just needs encouragement. Follow him. Hey, look, if you're not on TikTok, I'm not really telling you get on TikTok because it's a wild place. Uh, but if you feel called to that, you know, pray for the Lord to have a covenant with your eyes and do apologetics on there like people like Josh. You know what I'm saying? This is not to get everyone on there to mess around or whatever. I'm just trying to pay attention to what's going on. And so I want people to be aware TikTok's a big thing and the Hebrews lights are there. And that's why we need brothers like Josh. So at the very least, pray for brothers like Josh. And uh, we hope to see him around uh, again. And uh, we know that uh, the pressure is great for him. But we know that with the Lord's help, he can do it. So uh, hopefully today was an encouragement. And what what was this last video? I don't remember the name. Do you remember the name? What was it? Uh, um, Black Jew, Levi I believe it's one. It's like one. Rec a guy recording a street preacher. Oh, yeah. Open Eye 12. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. This is called like is breaking on the Christian Hebrews light versus pastor. And I think the guy in the video is a pastor and he's talking. The Hebrews light is the, uh, the voice on the other side. We'll just watch this real quick. 30 second, 30 second clip here. Is breaking on the commandments. Okay. So you got to keep the commandments to stop That's sin. why Paul said I would have not known sins if it wasn't for, for the, the command for the law. Yeah. So guess what? The only way you can sin is by the law. Amen. So if you're not keeping the law, but, but, then but, you, you, you're going against the law. You read on where it said the law could not save. By the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Yeah, yeah, yeah no it. flesh going to be justified because you got to believe on Christ. Right. It's Christ that saved you, yeah. not the so law. We, so guess what? We got to have faith, and guess what? We got to also keep the law. But, There's no way it's around it. The Bible says he that live by the law got to keep the law. You got to keep it all. That's how you show the love, though. Pastor was right. You got to keep it all. These dudes don't keep it all. In fact, I guarantee you, they're arguing with him on a Saturday. Imagine. Imagine. That's so funny, man. That's, it's, that's so hypocritical. What do you think you about know, this like one, told, though? Go ahead. Like I told you earlier, they said, where's where's my beard? I'm like, like we're not under ceremonial laws, all the civil laws, so I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. And, and 
Um, it's just, you know, there's there's a video by Woody, Woody Balvin. We're naturally born self-righteous. And, you know, in, in America, you know, if you want something, you got to work for it. And I don't, I don't know why they can't comprehend that salvation is a free gift. Um, and But the byproduct of that salvation is obedience, as, as Paul says. And, you know, most people think Paul teaches antinomianism. Most Muslims, you, you, you deal with Muslims and they feel like Paul is a deceiver. And that's not the case. You know, student of Gamaliel. But, you know, Romans 6, verse 1, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? By no means. You know, especially in Romans 3.31 when he says that, do we, do we then overthrow the law by this faith? Mm-hmm. By no means. On, on the contrary, we establish it, we uphold it, because we have perfect righteousness in Jesus. We want to obey the commands of God. But that, that, that doesn't, it's, it's, it's sad, man. It's, it's really sad. It's really sad. Amen. In Galatians 3. Good answer. It's true. Um, now we got a Hebrews light here in the, in the live chat, and it says, Hey, Vocab, do you eat pork? And this is funny, you know, I think a lot of Hebrews lights, when they say they keep the law, what they really mean is they don't get pepperoni on their pizza. Because let me ask you something, 12 tribes, uh, are you circumcised? Exactly. Are you circumcised? Exactly. Let me ask you another question. Do you go to Jerusalem for the Passover? Jesus, exactly. Jesus did. Let me ask you another question. When you have children, if you have children, do you go make sacrifices? Let me ask you another question. When you uh, celebrate uh, the festival, you know, the tents, you go out there in the booths, it's supposed to represent Israel in the wilderness, you know, when you do that, because, you, you know, you keep the law. Do you stay out there for seven days? Because guess what? It says seven days. When you get something on your skin that's of a certain way, do you go to the high priest to check it out for you? Mm. I mean, I like that. when you have a nocturnal emission... Do you are you unclean? You go out. Do you poop outside the camp? I mean, we go on and on and on, right? These guys exactly. want to go around asking Christians like, "Oh, do you eat pork?" Oh God, got them. Mm-hmm. But let me ask you. Hey, let's ask him the real one now, Josh. Do you love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength? Exactly. Only Jesus did that perfectly. Let me ask you another question. 12 tribes, wake up, Zion, rise. Do you love your neighbor as yourself? Oof. My drop. So, Hebrews lights strain out a gnat and swallow a camel. These dudes be running around hating their neighbors, literally. Talking about, do you eat salami? Do you eat salami? Do you eat salami? <laughs> Got him! You know, come on, guys. Exactly. Come on, guys. Exactly. Uh, man. But you know what? We're just having fun with you, even though we're serious and we're right. We got love for you. All right, my man, Josh, I'm going to switch over to the other screen here so they can see us nice and clear. We did nine videos a day. Couldn't get to the 10th. It's all good. Maybe next time we flip oh, over yeah. here. Let's see here. Where's it go? Boom, 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 boom. boom. All right. Um, tell them one more time how to get a hold of you. And uh, tell you can catch it. me on. I'm sorry. You can catch me on Instagram at Joshua Janier, J A N N I E R E, and the same thing for TikTok, Joshua Janier. Um, I do videos on a lot of topics. You know, I'm, I'm, I debate atheists, Muslims, Mormons, Black Hebrew Israelites. Literally, I mean, you know, Catholics who don't believe in justification by faith alone. I do it all, man. You know, but all glory to God. I thank you for for having me. It's, it's an honor and a privilege to meet you. One of my favorite Christian apologists. I love your work, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. What are some of your uh, more popular or most interacted with videos, Josh, on TikTok? Well, there's one video where I responded to a Black Hebrew Israelite. He he posted a video of a, a, a white people kiss white people click kissing Black Hebrew Israelite feet. That video has twenty seven thousand views. Um, there's yeah, I think that's my that's my. Most interacted with video on TikTok. What were the Hebrews like saying in response? They went crazy, man. I think there's like maybe five thousand comments. Woohoo! Um, yeah, they just they went off, and then that's that's how that's how I started. You know, I'm debating black Hebrews and like to making videos on them. It was that video. Guess All what? Right, you, you might have a few more coming around after today, my friend. Yep. <laughs> That's all right, Josh could handle the smoke. What are some future videos you plan on doing? You got any future plans? Uh, any ones uh, kind of you're dreaming up? 
Um, I'm working on a series right now since I told you about Catholics who don't believe in justification by faith alone. It's called, I'm reading a book called Long Before Luther. I want to take um, Catholics through that, through that book to, pe- to show people like Augustine, Jerome, Clement of Rome, who believe in justification by faith alone, because um, these are essential to the gospel. If you don't have sola fide, um, you don't have a gospel. So that, that's very important for me. And that's, I'm, I'm working on that series right now. It's, it's going to come out maybe in like two weeks. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's it. All right. Final piece of advice for Christians trying to do apologetics on TikTok. If you have a little clip of advice, what would it be? Um, stick to the Bible. You know, you know, do it for God's glory. Do everything for His glory. You know, be bold. Don't rely on knowledge on your own knowledge. Rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, but yeah, just just don't don't pretend neutrality. Don't say when debating atheists. Don't pretend neutrality. Just defend the truth. Christianity is the only truth, and it has to be defended. There is no other truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And my final question to everybody is, Do you eat salami? Do you eat salami? Do you eat salami, though?